There we go. Oh, hi everyone and welcome aboard. I'll be your Captain Hillian today, along with... Pearson First Metric here at your service. And welcome to Ori and the Blind Forest Definitive Edition for the third time, if my count is right. And okay, yeah, so. last time we got to the Ginsu tree and well, had to run from the blasted water as it was chasing us up the entire damn tree. And then we met Kuro in the flesh. <laughs> that did not go well. So, uh, let's continue 48? on from where we are. 48% already? Yeah, this isn't a absolutely massive game. This, is, this isn't a JRPG or anything. But it is still a really good game for what it does. And, well, we have <laughs> Ori and the Will of the Wisps for after this. Yep. I... Mm. I was thinking this stream maybe will take uh, maybe five or four, or five or six, but maybe only four streams? I think it's going by map completion for the most part. So, ah. we'll have to see. We are covering a lot of ground. Also, can we... Yeah. And this nope. person also have more areas, if I remember yep. you have said that. <laughs> yeah, it has a few extra uh, optional areas. That we could go looking through. Okay, just need to get this thing. Yeah. And then... Up. Missed. <laughs> okay, I was I was heavily overestimating how far we could launch that, but okay. Uh, we can come back to that some other time. For now... Yep. We need to keep going this way and head for... Oh, the Gumoan Ruins. <laughs> We get our second chance right here. Okay. Yep, yep, we got... We missed one of the map uh, stones somewhere. Okay. Yep. I don't... Okay, break. Yep. <laughs> we were too close there. Okay. Take three. Roll a bullet. Okay. Okay. Yep. <laughs> What's that saying again about uh, mules and stones? Wait, what? I uh, there, don't think. A... Go on. Uh, in Dutch, at the very least, there's a, a saying that a donkey won't. Uh, won't hurt themselves on the same stone twice. And, well, what did I just do? Yep. <laughs> okay, this is not going to end well. <laughs> well, it wasn't the same stone this time. I don't think I've heard that saying before. I think closest I heard about donkey is uh, stomping like a donkey. I don't, and I think I heard the term don't argue with a donkey. It both makes sense. Okay, let's give this one more shot with this, and then we'll just move on. Let's send you back a bit. Yep. <laughs> okay, you just come at us with <laughs> fucking Mark Five. I didn't. I did not expect it to go. Come, just come at us that fast. <laughs> okay, well, put that it, into wait, place. It, it, is that a clip? Ugh. <sighs> It'll be now if... There you go. Okay, gotta open that up so I can actually cut it down. It's a bit annoying to have to do this every time, but I will. There we go. Oh, dear God. That caught uh. me off guard. Okay, we didn't find out how to open that, so we'll have to get that somewhere else. Unless you trick that to shoot it oh, wait there's no, another one here true. now that's it's, it's a mechanism door not the oh. one of those okay we killed <laughs> we killed something else with it there not intentionally what? It. <laughs> twice alien twice now 
Twice what now? He accidentally made them into a rolling rockets. <laughs> uh, I did. I did not. I did not remember they could get that damn fast. But yeah, I guess it does make sense when they're rolling. They're, <laughs> they're just going to keep gaining momentum. Oop. Actually, I can use you. Thank you. And that was needed anyways. All right, then. Let's set up a safe spot here. Since we have plenty of energy. Okay, just a bit too late for the attack there. And what is... Okay, I thought for a moment we were... <coughs> I didn't notice this bit here. Thought we were going for the damaged part of the tree there. Very hollowed out. Uh, oh, I, it, I think it's picking up speed. <laughs> it's not getting Always, enough to get up though. Yeah, unless it's wait, it it is. I don't know, man. You turned into a uh, bomb. Okay, I need to remember that we have the climb ability now, so I, we can just stick to the walls if need be. Uh, let's see. Yeah, this place is completely frozen. Let's quickly grab that before we freeze to death. Not that I think that temperature is an actual mechanic in this game. <clears throat> okay. Uh, how do we get out now? Re blow this up. No. Okay. Wait. There we go. Yeah. I almost forgot about the damn signature ability that I've been using the whole time now. Okay. There we go. Was there movement on the left there again? Unsure. I was focused on the door. The forlorn ruins. Here's where the Guman live. They built mis mi they build miraculous structures and infuse them with the light of the, you know, of the spirit tree, which keeps them safe. Um. Sign, you might want to look her... Yeah. Oh, no. These Guman were frozen, unable to escape. When the element of winds lost its light, these ruins must have turned into a grave. Yeah. Dear. Oh, dear. Yep, yep, oh, okay, hot to the touch. <laughs> Just needed to check that twice, apparently, before I figured that out. Okay, just means that we need to not touch. So, the Guman were crafty inventors. They had foreseen a bright future that never came. Look at this light vessel. They were able to store the light of the spirit tree within. Nope. Yep. But it doesn't like being contained. Or, okay. Let's see. Is this a protective barrier? Let's not risk it on, <laughs> on the hot rocks. Let's see. Use the light vessel to activate and walk over Gumo and structures without taking damage. Okay. So it is. It, it is. It, well, that, yeah, it acts as a shield secondarily, but still. Okay. Uh, let's. Um, okay, I was trying too much there. <clears throat> yep, yep. It, careful, Helian. I, 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 icicle or oh, ice spikes hurt. Yeah. Uh, why? Why is it so? Hmm. I'm guessing it just wants to break free of whatever was containing it there. 
And, well, let us pick it up then. Maybe it recognizes the light from Ori? Maybe? Okay. There we go. We can just swap... Yep. We can swap the normal gravity. Okay. It's not the first time that a game has done something like this, but it is always nice when they do it. Let's see. Sign, please deal with those. Yep. Okay, my the controls are also reversed still when they're upside down. Oh, this is gonna be one of those. You just gotta. I just gotta put up more. <clears throat> north, yeah, more safe points. Why do they almost say it's Nora safe points? No, me. Yeah. But I do know I will hate this level due to the controls getting funky. Well, technically they aren't getting reversed since they're still going the same way relative to Ori, just not relative to us. Which, well, makes it not not exactly frustrating, Ooh. but more a bit disorientating. Yeah, which is the issue. There. Okay. And <clears throat> okay. Uh, si since we finished with dread, can we? Yes, we can. <laughs> we can just save on the ceiling. Uh, since we finished with dread, uh, we have a new game to pick up for later tonight. <clears throat> or rather, tonight, since it's the afternoon now. What? It, what? It, yeah. And that'll be Bastion, the first of the Super Giant games. And. Yep. Yeah, we will be continuing on through at least some of their other games. Like. I've. I haven't. <clears throat> I have never played far into Transistor. Their. Ooh. Ow. Their second game. And. It's, their third game was Pyre. But, wait, what? But I, I, I found that one. I never really found that one too interesting from everything I'd seen. And well, their fourth game, Hades, is well, it, it's Hades. <laughs> yeah, I'll I, definitely. I've heard some they of do. That. Yeah, I've heard maybe people praise their games. That only game that is not as quote unquote good as the others is Pyre. For apparently, man, too many found that. Are we too depressing? Now, from what I, I don't know much about that, but I do know that the gameplay of it just seems not too interesting to me. Maybe it is interesting and all, but I I don't really feel like it. For one, I don't feel like getting spiked. I I don't really feel like playing a game which is basically just a, a sort form of fantasy football. Football, okay. Yeah, I think I heard that people did not like the gameplay that the store was to the preview. They did praise the music, though. Okay. But that would probably be an issue if the, the most praise a game gets is the music. Another save point. It's but yeah, going to need that just, keystone. Uh, wait, fantasy. Okay, this just sounds weird considering to what I heard. That it's a very depressing story, and the further you go in, the less and less allies and friends you have for you helping them pass beyond. Hmm. And then have it like a football game? Just... Yeah, that does just sound like a good mix. Yeah, it's not really football, it's more like a uh, sort of... Okay, that is playing up against that. From the gameplay I'd seen of it, it's like you need to... It, it's a sort of capture the flag is. It's hard to describe, really. And I, it, just, I, it just didn't seem interesting for me to be playing an entire game like that. Then again, it, yeah. I, it could be that I just... Just am an idiot by falling for that. It could be that I just didn't get a 
Good enough look at what the game actually is. But, yeah. Well, from what I've been hearing, you probably dodged a ball. For it is the least liked uh, one of the group. Okay, I'm pretty sure but... you meant dodged a ball, but it sounded like you said dodged a ball. Or dodged a bullet, but you said dodged a, <laughs> dodged a ball. <laughs> How do you dodge a ball? I, I, I meant to say dodged a bullet. Uh, yeah. <laughs> but Dutch a ball? Well, that that's a good question. Okay. Come on, there we go. Okay. I guess you paint the ball the same color as the Dutch flag? <laughs> Maybe. Same freaking spot there. But, okay. I want to say maybe kick it with wooden shoes when the problem is we also have wooden shoe tradition here. <laughs> or rather, okay. one region, which I guess will be translated to the valleys, or all for the wooden painted horses and uh, wooden shoes. Okay, I think I heard something about the region of Sweden with uh, wooden horses and such, but not clogs. Or they have clogs in the same style as you. <laughs> okay. And Gonna have an issue of who stole it first. Yeah, how there's more. They, they are one of the Swedish region with a, such a heavy dialect and accent that it is basically its own language. Okay. And I think we have two or three okay. areas like that. Uh, oh. Yeah, uh, there we pointy? Okay, we can walk around these and still have our gravity messed with. Uh, let's see, there's one up there. Okay, so this. There we go. Okay, this makes it a little bit more interesting. Um, so can we just jump it like that? Nope. <laughs> okay, at least I tried it. Okay, the, the, the little the lip of that uh, that last rock <laughs> reverse controls. Yeah, the last bit of this rock goes a bit too close to the ice spikes. I'd say at least, or I'm just making you making up an excuse for my failure <laughs> in platforming. But yeah, it goes a little bit too close to the ice spike there. If you're not paying too much attention, and <laughs> well, I'm not. I'm trying to pay enough attention. Oh dear. Be, be, be careful now. Not that I'm accusing you of distracting me, because, well, you're here by my invitation. Well, you were begging. <laughs> okay. okay, wasn't begging. <laughs> oh, by the way, I. Uh, with this. <clears throat> With the, the YouTube channel, I found out that I actually forgot to upload a few streams, which has been corrected now. And let's see. This way. There we go. That works. Okay. As I'm not surprised that you had forgotten some. I, I just hope you do... That's been a while I checked the channel out. I just hope you do organize them into playlists. Yep. Yeah, I do, and I forgot that. <laughs> I forgot we need this one to actually grab, <laughs> be able to get on those without getting hurt. Oh dear. But yes, still really impressive what these Gumoan were able to do. Oh yeah. It also speaks of the the single one that is that we know. Oh. Yep. Since he, he's been working on his own, and he's been making quite the contraptions just out of wood and rock. Ooh, yeah. And, hmm. I'm gonna call this... I'm not sure I would call this Magi Tech. But maybe some for artificing? Probably. Probably. Okay, the, the reverse controls combined with trying to dodge things doesn't really help much. Plus, the fact that these blobs just have really annoying attacks. 
Oh, bloody. The more I think of it, I'm not sure if. The, there's a very thin blur if there even is a difference between Artificing and Ink and Magitech. Magitech? And yeah. hello there, Marco. Oh, hello, Polo. For love of. <laughs> Welcome to the stream. Hope you're doing well today. Hello, Marco. There we go. Now I said it correctly. Actually, we can drop this thing here because it'll cling to us. Okay, from Marco. It's still... Oh, lagging. Okay, okay. Uh, let's see. Sorry, gotta go. My Wi-Fi is being fucky. Okay, see you next time. Be well, uh, Marco! And if I remember correctly, they do watch us on their phone. So, yeah, that typically doesn't have as much broadband as a full computer. Yeah. Nice. We're stable, even. Oh, I completely, <laughs> I completely missed the freaking laser beams. Yep. But they didn't miss me! Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Ugh. Oh, bloody. Okay. I, I have to, got to investigate sometime what will count as Magi Tech and Artificing. Do, it might just be same word for same, different words for same thing. Could be. Okay, we can't we can't do uh, Ori's signature ability whilst we're carrying this thing. Makes sense since he's carrying quite the load. Okay. I think you can see what can get a lot of people frustrated with this game. So eh. it is <clears throat> it is my own fault in this case because I keep forgetting to set up save points. Yeah. And it is a tricky metrovania like yeah, give me that oh, wait i think i have it hmm this things like in portal gate will count as an artificing while megatech would be more like those quote unquote computers you see like in games for example in guild wars 2 with asura okay for they, they do take the whole magical technology to a next level. Yeah. Uh, okay, we need to go through that. Like this, I'm pretty sure. Yep. Okay. Oop. Okay, there's something big blasting there. So let's okay. set up a point. Okay. Oh, come on, this counts as a safe, unsafe place. Oh, I can't think I see why. I guess also Final Fantasy have also a lot of Magi tech things as well. Hmm. Here, I guess it would be more of artificing, but still, still impressive. Like, like you have a rock that levitates. I would, I would need to look up what actually does make the difference. Okay, put that down for the moment. Be rid of that thing. Okay. I do need to keep in mind that Stomp also deals quite a bit of damage. And knocks them away. There we go. Okay. Save points. Yep. Completely missed. Okay, but we did find that. Well, that is. Decent sized areas left. Okay, put that down so we can actually fight. Okay, did we get. We're missing one. Okay. And it's over there. Wait. Are you telling me you missed it? Yep. By a mile. See. We passed it by a good few times as well. There we go. Yep. 
I should have wondered why there was an extra one here that wasn't really doing anything. Okay. At least we can now just shortcut to here. Yep. Never mind. <laughs> okay. What is over there then? Yeah. Uh... Hmm. Helia, I'm pretty sure we will still, if you keep this up, I will still not name you Hillian the Impaler. <laughs> There we go. Okay, it's just for <clears throat> extra bit, the extra experience. Enough to give us an ability point at least. Nice. Okay. Um Okay, we just Okay, how do we get back from that then? Hmm. Oh well. It's not like we need those ability points that much. They are very useful, but hardly required. Okay. Now, let's go get that key again, and then go through all of that again. Oh, dear gods. Oh, blood. Now, now, now my brain is getting stuck on all interesting inventions I've seen in fantasy games. There we go. No need to go through everything. <laughs> we can just do that. Uh, actually, uh, I think I told about the ship before the Marienburg land ship. From uh, Warhammer Fantasy. I think you may have mentioned that before, yeah? Yeah, it, it's basically the Dutch version. Uh, Marienburg is Warhammer version of the Netherlands. Uh, Uh, right? You mean like uh, yeah. uh, strand beasts? Uh, a what? I, uh, it's those are wooden contraptions that are made to move on their own. Uh, okay, I was more pausing to talk. <laughs> I wasn't expecting it to actually activate anything. Yeah. No, uh, no. Also, uh, I, I can wait. It's, this shrine must have powered all they had built. Look at it now. No, no, look at it now. What it did. Okay. No, Gumo. His home. That is sad. Okay, that's opened up the gates. And probably activated every other up item in the area. Yeah, but does it say is? I was thinking about this uh, <laughs> Marienburg landship. Is it basically a, a, a steam van tank in the shape of a actual boat? Okay. <laughs> I wonder if Gumo knows of their fate. I hope he can forgive us that we live and they are gone. Yeah, there are right. plenty of revenge stories from. Yeah, you survived while my people died. Uh, that got a bit close. I uh, almost said it uh, in Swedish there, but yeah, be careful now. So, I was thinking about that ship recently and I realized I have always been confused by the wheels and I think I know why. Ooh. But I'm gonna have to double check with you. The, those Dutch windmills usually have a water wheel? Uh, yeah, either a water wheel or a grain mill, I believe. But most of them are or were used for water regulation, I believe. Yeah, for well, I think they decided for this more cheaper version of a steam tank. Just take a boat, steam engine, and I think the wheels are modified water wheels. <laughs> okay, so basically they're those uh, uh, river boats from... <laughs> you saw a lot in old America. <laughs> yeah, except more of a galleon with a massive water wheel on each side and a tiny one in front. Okay. And a lot of ma angry Marienburgers with cannons and guns. 
The element of wind lies before us, stored in the heart of this place. Oh, someone's caught up. These ruins are all that is left of the Gumoan, reminding us of their fates. Losing the ones that he loved, Gumer is the last of his kind. Or we shall bring back you know, the light for the bell and the memory of the Gumon. Let us, yeah, let us restore the element of winds. Yep, that's shattered the ice. Okay, that may not have been the best idea, Gumo. Oh. Okay, we got again got water break. Ow. <laughs> is that ow? Is that water? Or probably ice it might water be hot or something. Air. Yeah, it, we, it is the element of winds that we ow. Yeah, I think it's. I think it's blasts of melt water or something, or ice shards. <laughs> uh, it might be along with the blasting cold icy air as it cleans out the system. Uh, Wait, I should realize that that might have sort of like I'm explaining how a fort works. <laughs> uh, I don't think the entire ruins are farting. Yeah, it's not farting, but. <laughs> Oh dear god, one can do the comparison badly enough. Okay, uh, maybe there is a, uh, like steam pipe, the pipes. Yeah. Have a, have some pain wire. And the pipes are bursting. Yep. Then, why steam pipes maybe just shoot steam? It's very hot steam! Yep. No, they count the uh, probably also some that shoots very ice cold steam as well. Got Depending on what kind of steam or gas is transporting. There we go. Oh. Okay, the place is collapsing behind us still, and in front of us as well. Where we were supposed Okay. I think you need to cling to the wall carefully. It. Okay, okay, it seems to be God. random where these icicles are coming down. Yep. Right, I gotta grab some more water for... So please, I'm so damn thirsty. Well, there's plenty yeah. of water around here. You'll just need to unchill it. Uh, no thanks. Uh, yeah, people, I did, I'm not having food with me on stream today for I was... Well, I was away earlier today, yeah. I eat a little later midday meal, so it's a bit too too early to eat again for me. Mm. Uh, back, right back. See? Try not All to right. die too much. Though, like usual, I cannot make any promises. Especially when the entire place is collapsing. Wait, is that? Yep, that's a little safe spot. Uh, what game? Okay. I, I'm pretty sure this is the absolute worst way in which Gumo could have been trying to help. Then again, I think a good part of this is mostly just the place getting literally blown out by the wind. <laughs> by the wind. Now, it hasn't been while blowing through this place in who knows how long. There yeah. we go. And I'm back. <laughs> Welcome back. Uh. This isn't exactly trial and error or something, but it is new obstacles that are popping up each time. 
every well, every bit you get further, that is. For a moment there, I thought Ori got swatted or something. As in, he got swatted by the debris, not like, not like he got the FBI called on him or something. Oh, God. Oh, come on. Some of those blasts are hidden a bit by all of the eyes in the background. Yeah. yeah. It... I think it might have been intentional. Yeah, I hope not. So, get out of there. Yeah, we, we can't take too long. Okay, down here. Okay, I did not notice that there was a one. Yeah, that one was almost hidden by all of the spikes. It was hidden by all the spikes, except when we saw the glow up. But really, yeah, some bits are a bit. Really, you really expected me to re react to that quickly enough. Uh, at least the music is good for this part. Oh yeah. I think it's the same one as the water one, but still damn good. Yeah. Okay. okay. Before the place collapses in behind us. Yeah, if it wasn't for the blue flaring up there, I wouldn't notice those. There. Oh. Get out. Get out. Okay, I think we're safe. Ish. Oh. oh no. I thought you land on one so we don't supposed to explode. What, what to say? Hillian, don't stand there. Uh. Uh oh. Okay, yeah, I can definitely understand why we can't save here.
that is why she did what she did, and why she does what she does. Yeah, it's hard to fault her. Like, it's not the best option, but... Her cat does have some understanding for her reasoning. We stay out too long, she will kill us. Can we? And like that. Okay. And just goes to show just how freaking big she is, huh? Yeah, bloody. Then we don't know how small Aura is either. Which way do we actually need to go? Oh, wait. First off, this spider wasn't here before, so now we can do this. We still get hit. <laughs> Real quick. Yeah, we have a few seconds after she takes off to actually get back in cover. Ah, oh, damn it. Come here, you. Other way. Gods. Hmm. Yeah, you can see that things have taken a toll on Kura as well. In the flashback there, her feathers were in perfect condition. But uh, now... Yeah. You can see that they are really starting to fray all over. Yeah. Can we jump down? Yes. Yep. <laughs> She's totally not going to notice the moving log. <laughs> then again, she is quite literally blinded by hatred. Okay, no going back that way. We barely escaped from her clutches in this time. It's clear now why she hunts us. Who is just protecting her child. But remember, Ori, the element of warmth is the last to ignite. The sunstone we seek high atop Sorrow Pass. We must ride the winds, for they will show us the path. Yep, two or three down. All right, together. I get the saddles ready. What? She said ride the winds. I don't think you can saddle the wind. It's a bit too fluidous for that. Wait, is that what you're saying? You can't saddle the wind? Likely. That sounds like a saying, doesn't it? <laughs> if it is, it does make for a good substitute for one. Yeah, like, uh, yeah. You don't you can't ride a hedgehog. Or well, you can, but you just shouldn't. <laughs> yeah. Oop. Not landing on the spikes. Yep. Instead, I'll just get a spike on the head and then jump in them. Let's see. Okay, that closes that back off. No need for that. 
Okay, that's the shortcut over there. Uh, let's, let's see. Actually, we, yeah, this is Sorrow Pass. That is the area that she was guarding before. So we should be able to just get up there. Okay. That I guess I'm ability me. Yeah, I guess there's something you're missing. Oh, come on. Okay, at least it's easy enough to get around here. Especially with the winds now. Boing. And, well, <laughs> we could just use their attacks as well. Okay. Oh no, now you remember something from uh, one of my Magic the Gathering cards. No. Yeah, there are some uh, quotes on that sometimes. And th this one, this, uh, this kind of feels a bit mean. We see a bit of a riddle. Okay. Uh, what got one wing, two legs, and no brain? Bird brain? Yep. Goblin Sky Glider. Okay. Yeah, now you see why I feel like it's it's kind of mean. <laughs> yep, I've tried I tried Magic Gathering a few times, but I think it might just be a bit too complex for me to really spend some time uh, I'll spend the time to get uh, really acquainted with. Oh, I have played a few times and I like it, but it has gotten more and more complex over the years. Like there are some cards I refuse to use because, well. Usually when I buy you do get some note about some of the rules. But some of them are so old, old that they don't come with a note of what their skill does. Or they are extremely unclear what okay. they mean a ability does. So if I have any card like that, I remove them from deck and replace it with some other cards. That okay, I know I what the heck they do. Uh, yeah, I've had it similar with Yu-Gi-Oh. Like, I I picked it up, dropped it a few times, and yeah, each time that I like went to pick it back up, there's like a whole new type of system to go with, and I just go, uh, yeah, no thanks then. Yeah, so, some of them like short. maybe play four versus four or something like that. That I can get, and then you can have some extra victory condition, but all. Steal some rules that are very convoluted. I mean, only again, I mean, only use those that I know what they do and I actually have. Yep. There yep. are some notes about what it means. Yeah. That is sadly a thing with card games. Like, they need to evolve and adapt so that they don't grow stale. But if you add too many things and such, you run the risk of, well, alienating new players or making it too difficult to get into things with, for new players. Yeah. I, I, think, I only talked to my grandfather about it today that... I think it'll be... Like, I do, I, I, I'm glad we're innovating. But I do feel like we're in, in the period... For a while now, a period where we are innovating so fast that is almost a bit too fast, that we don't take time to uh, ask should we do this? Or is this the right method? We just... Here's a deal. Throw it out. Now. Turn it as quick as possible. Yeah. And I feel I... like... Like, being a state, but it's, there's so much technology coming out that it's... It's just overwhelming. Yeah. I, I, I know. Oh, sorry, yeah, I know SF Debris, and that was dumb of me. SF Debris, they had a whole video series about the creation of oh, of Magic the Gathering, and I think that this was one of the points that they came that they had trouble with as well, like the innovation versus ease of access. Yeah. And then we have innovation that claims it should be make access easier, but it really doesn't. 
sometimes some of these are supposed to make things easier. Just it's just an additional complication. Yeah, damn it, same to same toad. Uh, yeah. Game systems like that need to keep in mind to make stuff that makes it easy for new players to get into things as well. Yeah, uh, not just game, just technology and everything in general has this issue. There's a map zone up there and I want to go get it. Just need to get enough height. There we go. Really? <laughs> Come on. Okay. Uh, what are we to do with you? And I don't really have energy to make a new save point at the moment. So, ow. Bye-bye, yep. words. I said bye-bye. Okay. There. One more. There we go. Okay. I, I do get frust a bit frustrated with this game every now and then, but I do still who, really like it overall. Yeah. I think, I think That's everyone a has a game they love but has some frustration with as well. Okay. So let's just skip the blasted frog. Bye bye and be gone. Yep. You too. Now, we're looking for keystones. Oh, there's another one. Oh, okay, I, I like that they actually have the wind whirling around in here as well. They didn't really need to whoop, animate anything like that. So. Let's see. Bye bye. Okay, probably one more. It has been two or four each time now. Um, How are you going to impale yourself there again? Okay, we have some energy, so let's actually make use of it. <laughs> Freaking frogs! Oh, bloody hell. Okay, this time the moment that we get energy up, we're using it. Come on. There we go. It's not completely required, but it does make exploring easier. Also, is it just me, or does this room look like a kidney or something? Like a kidney bean? No, it's it just a kidney organ. Yeah, for me, I'm just thinking of kidney bean or a... Okay. I'm very hesitant to say fetus. It. The, the shape is familiar. Okay, giving up on that. Actually, okay, we do need to go there. Wait, why is it? Why is it now broken over there? Okay, just moving on. Oh, oh dear. Green ones really spit fast. Give me that. Yep. Okay, I thought it was a passage through, but nope. Oh dear. So yeah, number one tip for anyone playing this uh, this game: save up your energy some. Uh, oh, I just realized you. Oh. 
Yeah, yeah, you don't have an initial left there to do saves. Okay, now how do we get around there? Oh. Oh, okay, I completely missed that there was a second one there. Oh, give me that. Okay, at oh least we know dear. we have to find some energy now. Oh, yeah. Yep, missed. There we go. Give me that and that. Okay. And we can save one more time, so let's save that for once we've gathered the other two stones. You just get lost. Okay, last one's over here. Yep. Okay, overestimated the height we were getting there. Okay. Well, yeah, this does give a really good reason to go exploring for energy cells at the absolute least. Yeah. Um, oh dear. Save a route. And now, okay, why isn't it, un why is it unbroken now? And, of course, the little, sp the little spore patch, it's a tax leaf behind. It. Like, that is a really annoying attack that they just leave the junk all over the place. And it makes it hard, you know, typically they're hard to see as well. Especially when you're in freaking combat with something. Yeah, as I, like, I think for me, those kind of m mobs are kind of hit and miss. In some games, they're not too bad. But you still need to be careful about them. But other games, it's just adds unnecessary complications. Yeah. There we go. Now the map should reveal where we actually need to go. There. Okay. Got a lot more health now, so let's not waste it. There. Okay. That path is blocked. That is blocked as well. Is okay, th that must be the door there. Yes, it looks like a long. Hmm. I messed up long, that is. Well, if there was so, if there was this much dust <laughs> and uh, spikes all over your lungs, then yeah, you'd be having difficulty breathing. Okay, no, that is not the door. Where, where do we yes. actually progress then? Especially with the uh, frogs, slugs, and birds in the lungs. Hmm. Okay. Each of these are breakable walls. But which one actually has the break on our side? We can actually make use of it. Oop. There we go. You just go have fun with the frog. I think those long things are frog as well. Let's see. Okay. Yep. Of course I've run into the edge of it. We are making progress as we go. In leaps and bounds, but progress all the same. We 
go. Fifth. Okay. How many are we going to need for this door? And we are not going that way. Good question. Hmm. Oh. Another one. And another one. It's a little bit too close to the spikes. Yeah, shops doing sharp. Shops doing hurt. Bleed very much. Oh, give me that. Hmm. I thought the bigger ones were supposed to give more energy, but it will. that to block something. Oh, there's something up here. Oh, yep. We'll definitely take that. Okay. Nice. Yeah, now we have plenty of energy for the moment. Okay, four here. Is there another door? Let's see. Oh. Want, want. Very much. Okay, and what is down here? Colin down? Now, this is where we just came from. Okay. Oh, I, th I think we need to get that rock and get it down there. So we can block the blasts with it. And that would make sense if that even is a rock. It's... Yeah, that's not a rock. I'm not sure what it is, though. Yeah, it's like, usable. Is this a, a very different version of a tumbleweed? Yeah, a very hard tumbleweed. <laughs> there we go. Okay, and... Okay. Then we are using this one to block off that stream. Oops. If we can keep it in the stream. It's like we're playing soccer with these things. Okay, there's a little in indent in there that keeps it in place. Okay. Take 50. Uh, 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 uh. Okay, why did it not get moved there? I'm pretty sure I jumped off it. Or I bashed it, because that's the name of the ability. Okay. Grab the energy cell. So this thing at the door until it opens. Basically, gamble you doing there? Okay. There. Now it would have been really stupid or ironic if it landed on our head there. Okay. Keep rolling, bowling ball. There we go. There's that one blocked off. We're a bit eager on the draw. <laughs> Attacking before it even has a sight on us. Uh, let's see. Bash this thing? Yeah, bash Maybe this thing. Maybe it hurt you. Okay. Did we block that off with that? Then we can use... This one, oh, let's not throw ourselves into the energy spike or energy beam, whatever it is. 
There we go. It looks like dust or something. I think it's a bit tougher than dust. Okay, and yeah, there we go. I was it's supposed to be blast of sand or something. Okay, that you meant. I thought I thought you oh. meant the the thing we were <clears throat> the thing we were throwing around. There. From around. That what we threw your robe was definitely not a dust bunny. <laughs> okay. We definitely missed a door here somewhere. I... Hmm. Here. Okay, gotta be real careful with this one. Here. There. The scraps of cloth are stuck throughout these things. Oh, that one's just mean. Careful. Hmm. There we go. Okay, I wasn't going to say I probably should have put down a save there, but this will work a lot better. Wait, these count the saves? No. Oop. Let me deal with this thing first. These saves. Uh, alright, alright. Actually, now that we have put this down, let's see, we have... Charge dash. Okay. We have shard efficiency for more energy. Let's actually grab this one. Also, I should remember that we have this ability as well, still. That we use it a lot. Oh, hello. Hmm. This spirit. Another sacrifice for Nibel. Nier flew through the air. She soared through the sky. Her world knew no bounds until the forest turned blind. You've learned charge jump. Okay. To use this ability, hold left trigger until fully charged, then press A to leap extra high into the sky. Okay. All right. So basically an inverted stomp. There we go. Yeah, that's going to help us get up some places. Provided you can still land. Let's see. Oh. And we can even do it from walls. There we go. Holy. Yeah, we are getting... Very nimble. Is there anything up here? No, there's just a little cloud in the way. Okay, luckily those do count as, uh, <clears throat> as save points. Luckily enough. Okay. There and there. You just can get lost. Yep, I didn't see the spikes. Okay.
Yep. Come on. Oh, just slightly wrong angle. I, oh I, dear. I think oh it was dear. less a wrong angle and more it, and more that the charge ended just short of where I thought it would go. Yeah. There, up. Okay. Actually, yes. There. Let's stomp the bloody frog. Stomping off a love of. Putting a save point up there when we get the back. Experience from that. And still just hover through these. Though we should. Okay, just aiming higher. There. Save it to just go up here and cling to the bit of wall, not the spikes. There. Can we actually destroy that? Yes. <laughs> Hopefully we can do it without killing ourselves as well. There we go. And now we can just save even though that thing keeps spitting at us. <laughs> well, then we regret that soon. Apparently not. <laughs> okay, just Love going past Alien. this thing. There. Nope. Okay. Now we should be safe. Ish. Okay. Oh, and we can see the volcano in the background. And the <laughs> The energy blast in our face. <laughs> there we go. Nice. But Keep just guiding watch out. the wind higher and higher. You think those are lasers just strong? Blows of sand or something. Yeah, we had them in the tree as well, so there is they are some sort of magical blasts. And now we're up above the clouds. No wonder Kuro is avoiding this place. The sunstone still radiates the light that she fears. <clears throat> Hello there, Cookie. Oh, hello, Cookie! You found the Sunstone. Uh, not that there's any Pokémon for us to use it on. Using this legendary rune, you can gain entry to Mount Huro. Hey, you doing well, Cookie? Not skipping on homework, are you? And we're doing well. <laughs> yeah, we're doing well here.
Yeah, Guma overheard where we'd be going. Let's see. Felt like I've been having heartburn like yesterday, the day before yesterday, and before that day. So I hope it's okay now. Yeah, definitely hope you won't be having that for much longer. Oh, well, lady. Mm. With the Sunstone, we can now pass through Mount Horo's gates. But do, you, but do you feel the shaking? You're rumbling in the earth? Mount Horo is close to spewing fire. There's no time to lose. Yeah, that volcano looks ready to blow at any second. So we better hurry with this. <laughs> yeah, let's see. There's nothing all over that way. And there's nothing this way. So, all the way back down. Actually, we can go to the warp point over there. That'll make travel a lot easier. <laughs> Never mind. So is there really nothing over that way? No. Nothing in inside, at least. But, uh, yeah, uh, <laughs> yeah, Cookie. Uh, welcome to Ori and the Blind Forest. Which I I'd probably put a one among, well, among one of my favorite games. Even though I quite suck at moving around in it a lot. Okay. Just gotta keep heading down. And yeah, find a way over to Mount Huro. Yep. Nope. Hopefully, without having to deal with the bloody birds, we've got enough with Kuro on our ass. Yeah. Uh, and now we also need to deal with a volcano. There we go. That speeds things up a bit. Yep. <laughs> okay, I walked face first into that one. Yep. <sighs> See what I mean with those, re those patch attacks being really freaking annoying? Yeah. They put damage where you're not expecting it. Okay. Yeah, let's make let's make our way over there again. If we can get there safely enough. But not like that, Rory. <laughs> no time to stomp through the spikes. Let's see. Will that even give us enough? Nope. Okay, Cookie's tired. So, where do we need those four keystones? There doesn't seem to be any... Oh, there's a... Some... No, that's not a... That's a, me a mechanism gate up there. Hmm. Actually, also something we should probably do. Is to rekindle the save. Is there any other warp around here? Or... Okay, there's one at the very bottom. Is it for cookie? Cookie away is tired. Okay. Uh, yep, yeah, not falling for it this time. Or always tired? Yep. Yeah. Careful. Okay. And there should be... Yep, there we go. Okay. Um, let's go to Hollow Grove. <laughs> uh, too much sugar? Okay. Safe. And let's have a look. Okay, there. Actually, the best place to go. Just uh, get straight through here and that way. We haven't been there before. Okay. 
Yeah, don't overdo it with the candy cookie. Or the cookies. Okay. Too much coffee. Okay, I, I'm guess. Okay, I, I'm guessing you were having oop, more a caffeine withdrawal then. Yeah, <laughs> that is one of the reasons why I try to avoid coffee when I can, because just the you know, the burnout that comes after it. I even have faith time, but then again. It's because I, yeah, I rarely eat as much uh, restaurant food as I usually do. Yep. So it's not food coma, but almost food coma, if you get what I mean. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> yeah, I'd not, I'd not meant for one of those shots to actually kill the spider them, but I'll take it. See, there's a life cell in there. Okay. Up and over. Okay, luckily we have the wind here now. Energy cell. Hmm. Still got me. Ooh. There we go. Uh, let's see. Uh, as in me, IRL, general... I know I... IGL? Uh, or IKL? Uh, I get very dis uh, disappointed if I even gain 500 gram. Okay. Oh. Big fiery boy. <laughs> okay, what you... Oh, you all... You almost did die. I'm pretty sure this is where we oop, came in like the first or second stream and we very quickly realized we were not supposed to get this way yet. Okay. Ah, oh, yeah. Up and, and I there we go. Okay, that opens that up. But we still have the big ball of anger to deal with up here. Oh, oh freaking slimes. Okay. Yep. So, like, I love, yeah, sugar does have that effect on, well, basically everyone, Cookie, but you do need to. Try not to go overboard with it. Okay, just, that's the way we need to go, but the... First. The warp station is here, so let's go get this first. There. Okay. Bye-bye. Okay. Okay. Don't know what you are, but you are angry and you are there. Well, they were destroyed. Oh boy. Okay. Yeah, looks like the forest is on fire. It... Is this magma? And... Actually, we avoid having to run from that stupid thing over and over again. Okay. It looks like there has been at least one lava flow close enough. <laughs> Jay, the frog just got annihilated by the elemental. Okay. 
Okay. More Gumu one right ones? Oh, yep, that's definitely one of the magma flows, or lava flows, since it's above ground. Okay, put that in. Oh, uh, yeah, good idea not to try and snack then, Cookie. That will only make things worse. Nebel's source of warmth. All his glory has burned. Let's be careful. Many of those that entered this place have never returned. Yeah, it's a it's a blasted volcano. <laughs> of course, <laughs> no few return from this. The element of warmth is close, but the mountain. I've never seen it this way. We have come so far. So much has been lost. We can't give up now. We must enter the fray. Let's see. Uh, no, it was because I was in the car and I watched you. Uh, yeah. Uh, what? It, okay, I thought I thought it was in the background. Watching something on a screen in the car is a bad idea, which is something I can attest to personally. Because that really works up the, the motion sickness. Yeah. It's may, at times maybe you wonder why even have a yeah like a, why even have a TV in a car? Yeah, they could just be easily as have been using their phone or something. I, won't even hit us there. Okay, we are being guided this way. Okay. One of the freaking patches of that stupid thing. Ugh. Yeah, not, not only do they damage you on contact, but they work like a freaking grenade as well. Back in, Ori. There. What? Does even just standing on that hurt? Yeah, come on. So where do we need to go here? I do all some kind of lava slimes. Yeah, but I mean that was the floor that was actually hurting us, I think. Yeah, oh. but standing still on it for too long hurts as well. But where do we need to go here? There's only the freaking slime. And oh wait, of course. The new ability that we have. There. And da -da -da. Uh -oh. Can we nope, we can't stand still on that long enough to launch. Okay. Nope. Yep, that was a bad idea to try and land on. He's gotta keep moving. Oh, come on. Oh, you overshot it. Okay. Up. Okay, we're going to need to find some way to shut off those lava flows. Doesn't look like we'll have many places to sit still and recover. Okay, that, doing that just so we have a little bit more health. Okay. Mm, battery. 
we made... Okay, let's launch and see what we can find. No, this way is just plain blocked. We can put down a save. To save ourselves a bit of travel time. Bit of the slime. There we go. Now it can't ruin our little save space here. Okay. Okay, we don't have a map stone. Yep. Overshooting again. Oh, dear gods. Yeah, the, the platforming in this game, as you can see, can get pretty tricky. Especially when there's so many things moving on screen that it's getting hard to track of what's what. Yeah, bloody heck. Get in there. Okay. Uh, what the heck? It's... Ah. Careful. Yeah, it absolutely makes full sense that this place is so damn dangerous. Because, again, this is the heart of a volcano. Hmm. Do we need to time that? Or does the other block well, block off the other flow? Or... Oh, wait, there's a lever on the other one. Um... Okay, send that back, call it back, and yep, we have a window to get through. And there we go, just ride it over. Okay, clever little puzzle. And okay, l lava slogs, now we also have to deal with that. We won't have to deal with that anymore. Okay, and a free save. Okay, that hasn't fully eliminated the flow, but it has lessened it. So we should be able to get to other places now. Nope. Didn't actually mean to destroy that one. Feet. You two really should be somewhere else. Cookie and chat. Oh yeah, I also kind of worked today, and my hand got hit into nettles like ten times or more. Uh, okay, what were you doing then? Why, if you were working with or near nettles, why weren't you wearing gloves then? It might not be um, nowhere with nettles around. Uh, ow! Like as a kid, sometimes the nettles were almost hit by other plants. Ooh. Ow! Okay, whose bright idea was it to trap a blast, to put traps in a blasted volcano? Good question. What is it from? Cookie? Oh, I was not. Oh, what the heck? Okay, I mean, I mean, sometimes gloves are not enough. At least not it was the thing we cover you. Well, I realize you may actually need really long gloves to be protected. Let's 
Ne ne Nettles will find a way. Okay. Got you this time. Okay, really close to the lava. If Ori wasn't a creature of light, they'd be suffocating from the... Ooh, uh, what? That there? They'd be suffocating from all of the sulfur and such in the air. Yeah, oh, bloody hell. This area will smell bad. Uh, <laughs> if you could even smell at all with, like, the beyond boiling heat. Let's see. Ori, these rocks appear unstable. Through my light, we might be able to use them to stop the lava from spreading. Okay, blow it up. There we go, that blocks off that path. Let's see. The cookie, I had, I had gloves, but jokes on you. Uh, but they have small hairs that still go in into your glove. That that just means that the gloves you were using weren't uh, appropriate for it, <laughs> Cookie. Because I'm pretty sure gardeners... Uh, okay, I did not know that I saw the ground here, actually. Gardeners do have gloves that uh, stop nettles from getting through. Yep. Yeah, Thought you forgot my feet, me. Gloves. It's also you have gloves that either extremely thin or have massive holes in them. Okay, that's two flows down. Not sure how many more. Grabbing that. Yep. That, that still hit us, okay. Gotta dodge all of that. Okay. We need to... There we go, yeah. We needed to destroy that to gain access. Okay. And it's not actually hairs, Cookie. It's little needles. You. Yeah, those things can sometimes be very big. We actually need to destroy these. Oh, yeah, we definitely need to destroy these. Yep. Ow. <laughs> Without and getting destroyed destroy. ourselves. Yeah. Okay, now can we actually get back out again? Without them? Yes, we can. Okay. Just in time to see it open up. Oh, that, was, that was the sound came from. What? I, I thought, what the heck? Is there something else here with you? I thought I heard a creature, but no, it was just the rock door opening. Okay. And another flow stopped. We're working from the top to the bottom. Okay. Gotta hope that Naru doesn't get herself hurt in all of this. So I'm pretty sure she's not agile enough to get around all of this. Gumo definitely with how he can jump. But Naru is a bit more portly. Okay, I, I thought <laughs> I thought I had more health left. But nope. Okay. Nope. There. Nope. Okay. There we go. Something nice with the stomp. I think I've pointed it out before. When we stomp, the projectiles also get reflected around. Yep. 
Yeah, you could see it about with the one that was just above us there. Let's, uh, what are these? Good question. What the heck? But it looks like magma, but why are they on the chains? Okay, apparently we can actually grab onto the damaging spikes. Okay, never mind all of this. Up. I said up. There. Okay. The launch is a bit much for that one, so we just jump there. Should we add to the list Killian Impaled? <laughs> I'm pretty sure the counter would break from that. Wait, what? There. Okay. Who would break? The, the counter for that. <laughs> what counter? <laughs> for how many times it happens. Oh. There we go. Well, more reason to get the name Helium the, the Impaled. Careful. Okay. Nope. It's moving. Uh, we're on the wrong side of that. Okay. Uh, can we come? Yes, you can come back down. Okay. Uh, let's see. Mark's ability cells in the mar map. Okay. Strength and size of light bursts. We haven't been really using that in combat much. And then the charge dash. Uh, let's see. Which of these would be more strength of the team? Water breath. Hmm. Let's take that one. Mostly because the, uh, the next one up is more experience points per experience. Ooh. For experience source. Also, I just had a bit of a realization. I think. Uh, have, have, uh, ow. have you heard perhaps of the game Rain World? I have. Not seen any gameplay though. I have seen recommendation for someone doing a mini documentary over how complex, complex, and fascinating the biodiversity in it is. I watched the video, but it seems to some biologists wanted to review it and uh, was very impressed by it. Apparently. Okay, uh, I I think I just realized that Ori might have played a bit of a role in how the slug cats, the the creatures that you actually control in that, have looked. Uh, I I think Ori might have played a a bit of inspiration on that. That makes me. I saw the picture of the uh, creatures. I felt like they looked uh, weirdly familiar. Well, we... uh, yeah, they kind of do look like a uh, Ori in some ways. Oops. Okay, at least it got rid of itself there. The most. Okay, gotta keep moving. And of course, there's one of these here. S screw to both of you. All that. Okay. <laughs> Objection noted. Oh, there was a little spite in that spit. Okay. That tree was more spiteful than a llama. <laughs> Again, I don't know if llamas are spiteful. I know that uh, elephants can be pretty damn spiteful if you, you if you wrong them. Yeah, like there was one elephant. I think I forgot if the elephant. There we go. 
No, there was some person who has been very mean to elephants. And when they died, the same elephant she had been tormenting came to a funeral just to wreck it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but then also, a case where someone had been a very kind to the elephants and they went to the, uh, to the graveyard to mourn for the man. Okay. If the freaking slimes. Uh, don't do I that. really still... freaking hate these Holy. things. Holy, yeah, they are annoying. Right, I was to say is these elephants are still doing this today. After what's about like 60 years? They still go to the man's grave to pay respect. Okay. Uh Ooh. Dealing with some really small ledges here. Okay, at least we can get rid of the patches they leave behind with the stomp. There. Still no bloody clue what those things are. Of course it's a yeah, slime that deals the final blow. They, they, they look like balls of magma or lava, but... Why are they strung up like that? And like, Ooh. is is this the method of making lava lantern? I think they're, I think they're probably bound to energy or something by the gumo by the gumo and for something. Let's see. Can we know? Okay, this one. And oh, we've got one of those angry things again. Uh, okay, uh, up. Up. Uh, hmm. Where do we... Okay, that works. Okay. Wait. Okay. It... The, those floors light up to yeah, show you sort of how close you are to... Ah. Ooh. Right my nose itching now. How close you are to getting hurt by it. Like that. Oh uh, no, not that mental image. Nope. Okay. I, I really hope you don't have a gall fly up your nose. I very much doubt I would I wouldn't have noticed something like that. Yeah, uh, like uh, anyway, I saw the, the other day this week, before I went to bed, a short video. A cat owner, owner, owner to their cat was scratching the nose a lot and yeah, whining. I, I think we can leave it at there because I think we can all imagine what that actually looked like. And we don't need it further uh, described. Thank uh, you. Uh, it, it, it's not that bad. It's actually... Here's the thing. They took the vet and the cat was calm. Yeah. The cat was calm. They had no operation. So no I blood still blood. don't. I still don't think yeah, we need yeah. to describe the bunk something up something's nose. Thank you. Yeah, but basically, the cat was just please uh, just uh, let it lie. I mean, Thank yeah. you. I say, like, the cat behaved well during the procedure. I was impressed by the cat. Okay, and sorry. See you. Yeah. See you next time, uh, Cookie. No need to say sorry about that. Uh, how do we get past this? We can't oh, move the no boulder. Cookies and be safe. And now let's see here how we... We can pull it. Okay. Okay, then we can just launch it up there. Ooh. Let's see. There we go. I mean, it talked about many times that ice levels, for many years, there have been many people's annoyances, but... Ain't lava levels also one of those levels that people usually have a issue with? Uh, more that the overuse of them and that the 
to the point that they are often made very generic. Yeah, generic or annoying. Let's see. Okay, then launch it up to there. And then from here, we can pull it away and launch it onto the platform. There. Okay. Ooh. Um. Stay there. Yeah, stay there. Okay. Okay. There we go. Yep. And there. Hmm. Th there that you. does make. How are we supposed to get to that uh, thing there? Then. Okay, for a moment I thought we jumped right into the blast. Say, I thought you were to die there. Okay. Ooh. There we go. Okay, hopefully we can lessen the flow to save the forest from burning down. Like, it's already blank. Yeah. It does not need to be... <laughs> it doesn't need to be completely incinerated. Yeah, blind and burnt is a bit overkill. Ew. <laughs> Just barely dodged that. Ooh. That made me shiver, shudder, I mean. Oh, yeah. dear. No. Knock that far down. Thank you. Okay. Um. Wait. There's a teleport <laughs> underneath all of the lava. Okay. Wait. That might mean the lava might get removed. Yeah, we already saw it flow lower. Uh, we just need to get it even lower. Yeah, probably to turn this one off. Yeah. Come on, there we go. Just need to get enough height. Let's see, what are we on time? Oh, we should soon end the stream, I see how. Yeah, okay. Then we should be able to finish the game next time, I think. Yeah, for I feel like we are in getting near the end. Mm -hmm. yep. <laughs> okay, friendly fire, even without my interference. On the... yeah. But is this the area, the final level? Uh, no, there is still more to go. Okay. All right, so gotta get across. And work from top to bottom again. Let's see. You. Get did rid did you. the music change? Ability points. Ah. Is this the stopper? Yep. Yep. No, that's just that's not a stopper. That turns that on. Okay. Bye bye. Holy. Who, who installed the bloody laser in the volcano? I think that's more of a... Oh, I see what it is. Yeah, it's a, it's a targeted laser, not laser spout, lava spout. Yeah, I'm trying to identify if that, if that is lava or... or... Just a lot of hot air! That is almost burning! Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's like like some. Bleh, like the. Uh, oop. Like okay, the, it is the energy blast that we've been dodging. Okay. There we go! No, without this. Okay, I was going to say without this thing trying to kill us, but it's still hot to the touch. Moving on to the second room, to the, yeah, the next room here. There. Okay. 
Okay, rapid fire. Up. Oh. That actually... <laughs> that actually caught one of the slugs. I think we need that to actually get around here. Yep. Go. Go. Keep going, Ori. Well, y'all flying something. Okay, we'll just get squatted out of the sky. Yeah, I didn't mean get blown up. Okay, I didn't. I didn't expect the flooring of a that we to explode. But then again, I was looking forward, not backwards. Okay. There. Okay, here we go. Should be able to complete this before we have to stop and go look for someone to raid. Okay, now I see that these platforms are completely eaten through. Holy. No, let's not hit that. Uh, come up just shorts. Yeah, for you tip your hoof into the lava. Yep. Slug is dead again. Yep. There we go. Okay. Why are you having trouble walking? Okay, for some reason, Ori slows down a lot on those. It is strange. We go now. We've got some speeds. There, yep. come on. Oh, so close. Yep. Too close to the lava that time. Go. Okay. Going, keep going. It can't. More air than that. There. Up. And okay, there we go. And just in time. I've even heard your alarm. Yeah. Okay, luckily we don't need to use energy to break those free. It's a nice little thing from the game that it doesn't expect you to hold to have energy for those. So it does provide these. Okay. Yeah. Um, for otherwise. Let's be honest, if you need to have energy for almost everything here, there's a risk you run out of energy a lot and mm. get a progression block from it. Okay. We'll have to go back through that next time. And we should be able uh... to finish the game. Hmm. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Ugh. Good progress, I say. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is something with this game and the Prince of Persia that we've been playing as well. They aren't ex they aren't extremely long, but they are pretty dense with what they do. Oh yeah. And yeah. Okay. 
let's head on over here. Come on, Stream Deck. I really should find some way to fix that stupid thing. Okay, close off the game. And let's go look for someone to raid. So, no, not that. Okay. Twitch. Mute the channel, or mute the site. Change the screen share. There, and let's have a look who are online. A lot of people are online. We have big V streams with uh, Morrowind. Powerful Keiki is streaming Disney Dreamlight Valley. Okay, uh, I think we've seen someone stream that before. It's basically um, Animal Crossing, but Disney. Then we have Karenai with Fuga Memory, or no, Melodies of Steel. That's a name I've never heard before, a title. I've never... Okay, they're yes, currently so. in a pre stream. Uh, I'm Nice is streaming Final Fantasy XIV, Emdrum, the Adrum as well. Sour Wolves is streaming V Rising. I heard that got an expansion recently. Uh, some people I know are starting to play that again, so maybe I'll pick that up again as well. Uh, Zoe is streaming Tears of the Kingdom. Oh, Ruffy Raccoon is streaming Saints Row. Okay, that one. Uh, Kirinu Natsuyoko with Dead by Daylight. Kenai with Zelda as well. The Lazy General is streaming Age of Wonders 4. And then we have Horatius the Dwarf with Starship Troopers Extermination. Uh, I've heard I've heard good things about this game. It is still in early access, or at least uh, it still has content to be added to it. I'm very, but from what I've heard, it is good. Uh, some people I know, some friends of mine, do want to play this as well, and it is only twenty-five bucks, I believe. So I might pick it up. And yeah, that's about all the people in our typical raid window. So. Who would you say, or shall I pick a few for you to narrow it down? You know what? You do that, uh, so that might make things easier. Okay, I'm thinking Karenai or Horatius, then. Hmm. Let's so... see, what can I play? Hmm? Well, they all have not started yet, so... Okay, Horatius, then? Yeah, let's go with Horatius. For... I would want to do Karenai, but... It feels a bit pointless to do it when they have not even started. Okay. Slash raids and then Horatius the Dwarf, not Horatio. Though <laughs> it is a mistake I have made a few times as well. Uh, okay, I should probably turn off my fan. That's probably why my nose is starting to itch, even though it is still warm in here. Okay, at the very least that thing is turning, so it's not full blast on me because I've heard that that is not good to have that done. Oh. Uh, but yeah. <clears throat> okay. Uh, let's see. Bastion in about three hours if nothing goes wrong. And uh, yeah. Uh, before we start the raid, of course, thank you everyone who has been watching now or later. Thank you, Cookie. And let's see. Uh, who Marco? Was it early? Yeah. To Cookie and Marco. Thank you for showing up and sitting along a bit, even though you both had to leave. And thank you as always, Dirk here. You welcome us always, my friend. And with that, we'll start the raid. And yeah, like I said, Bastion tonight. And then tomorrow we have another Showcase Sunday. Uh, I have a few good games for that. Let me actually double check. Uh, review all the symbols again. Uh, yeah, there, there's a few games here that I think will be of interest. And yeah, tomorrow afternoon, or not afternoon, evening, uh, we'll see if we stream or not. Yeah, that's, for... that's when we have our free uh, space. Yeah, basically, <laughs> we do what we, we feel up for it. And I guess it will depend on how impressed we are with Bastion today. We could finish up uh, Ori as well. But that also... we'll see. For now, yeah, though, we <laughs> go ahead. Uh, uh, I said, yeah, we will see. Okay. Uh, for now, though, thank you all again for watching, and until next time, have a nice day, and until then. Be safe, everyone, and watch out for lava monsters. Uh, and also, apologize for earlier.